Hi, I'm Jessica Schur at Sundance 2013, and I'm here with Herflix. It's just about time to interview some top female filmmakers. I'm with Stacey Passon, and we are here with a film called Concussion. And I hear you got some good news about Concussion, but first, how did you choose the project? Oh, well, I wrote the project, and um, I wrote it uh, last year, and um, we we saw the subject matter, and it was a pretty compelling subject matter, and a, an old friend um, sort of took it under her wing and said, let's do it. And we um, we ramped up into production and shot it last fall, and um, we're here at Sundance this year. So, and we had we, we, we sold yesterday, so I, I'm excited. Did you expect to sell so quick at Sundance? I, I don't think anybody could expect to sell or have any expectations. It's Sundance's expectation enough. It's an amazing place to be, and it's my first time, and it's my first film, and it's a fabulous it's been a fabulous journey. So and That journey as a woman filmmaker, has that impacted perhaps work that you've chosen or here we are today as a woman in film? I don't know that I had a choice, <laughs> but the film is women-centered and it explores a lot of sort of uh, classic feminist type of issues or women's issues. So a lot of people will kind of be drawn to it for that reason. I think that at its core, it's really about marriage, though. That's really the the feeling, um, and the marriage in this case happens to be between two women, oh. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a lot of women focused things in it. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for uh, coming here and speaking to Herflix, right. and we wish you lots of luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. So I'm here with Jendra Jarnigan, and this is a very special time for me because I've known you for many years, mm -hmm. and I know that you're one of the very few female DPs around. How is it to be a female working uh, behind the camera? I definitely think that it's an asset to be uh, one of the few in any category because then people notice you and you stand out. And there's definitely a bit of the underdog support that I get. Also that my name is Jendra. My name is not Dave or Matt or Mark. And so when people meet me, that sticks and they remember me. If there are any quote unquote drawbacks to being a woman cinematographer, um, I think they're offset by the, the benefits of um, being a little more high profile. Certainly a lot of the women keep track of each other and are very supportive of one another. And, and certainly a lot of the men and the vendors, I get you know, a lot of demo camera emerging technology opportunities to test things before they come out. And if I have any pet projects that I need either a break on the price or even, you know, to get a free camera for a couple of days, um, you know, people like supporting the underdog. So um, I guess I've been using that to my advantage. I'm here with Mary Stam and Raquel Chapa, and I just want to know what you guys loved about that panel. There's so much hope for women in the future. Uh, that's in all areas for film, that's what uh, I got. Raquel? Yeah, I, I went through a lot of the same struggles they did. Um, just, just never thinking like this is for me. And to, to know that real girls exist and that young girls are, are realizing like they can do this. And I, I just was really inspired by it. We got to help the young girls. We got to give them role models. We got to put them cameras in their hands, let them not be intimidated. Yes, they can do it. They can do the technical stuff. They can do it. And now, are you filmmakers? What's your connection to film? I want to be a filmmaker. I've gotten derailed for about 30 years. <laughs> Time to get back on track, and you are at Sundance. I work for a film festival, and I've also uh, worked on my own documentaries. Um, but it, it took a long time. I never thought, like, this is something I can do until I was in my 30s. Well, thank you so much for talking to Herflix. All right, we're back with Christine Vachon, who's one of the big, huge, giant indie filmmaker women of the world. And I just want to know, how did you get started in all this? I just wor started working on movies, decided that producing was where I wanted to be. And then I had the good fortune to meet Todd Haynes very early in my career and produce his first feature film, which actually came here in 1992 and won the Grand Jury Prize. As far as like picking your films, what comes towards you? What interests you? If it's something that feels uh, fresh and really original, it's something that I think I can live with for a few years. Did you have any idea of what Boys Don't Cry would do to the world? So what are you going to tell them? I'm going to tell them what we know is true. No, I mean, you know, whoever does, but I'm glad it lives on. So if you could just give us some, an idea of what you think of difficulties that women face in women in film. I'm never good at that question. I've had an amazing career, and I really, I, I, I can't really 
think of anything I haven't been able to do because I'm a woman. I just don't think about it that much. You know? I think it's great that there's more female directors. I think it's tough for, for female directors because it's really tough to have a family and be a director. Yeah. And yeah. I think a lot of women feel they have to choose between the two. And they do often. You're awesome. Thank okay, you so much for your time. So thank Bye you. Guys. That's a wrap. Thanks so much for joining us with Herflix Sundance 2013. And this has been a Herflix moment. 